Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are preparing for senior Java developer at Walmart, this video is for you. In this video, I will be discussing about the questions which has already been asked in the Walmart for senior Java developer. So someone who is preparing for the senior Java developer role at Walmart, this video is going to be very helpful for them. So in this video, the questions I will be covering from Core Java, Spring Boot, JPA and microservices. So watch the video till end to get all the questions which has already been asked and they helpful for you. And you might get any or you might get some idea which can help you in order to prepare better for the upcoming interviews. So are you ready? Let's get started. Let's start from the core Java. So the first question which is asked was explain the scalability challenges with concurrent hash map under high contention and how to optimize it. Next question is how does the Java memory model ensure visibility and ordering of operations in multi-core system. Question number third is compare synchronized block versus stamped log versus where handle for concurrency control. Question number 4 is how do you debug and fix a memory leak in production JVM? Explain difference between CMS, G1GC, ZGC, when would you choose each in production? Question number 6 is how would you design a high throughput system using fork join pool versus virtual thread? Explain false sharing in a multi-threading and how to avoid it. Question number 8 is difference between blocking queues and non-blocking queues data structure in Java. And question number 9, how do you implement a custom class loader for hot reloading? And question number 10 is how do you tune JVM for a low latency trading like system? So these are the 10 questions which was asked from the core Java and these questions are not so easy questions in order to answer these questions you have to be very well prepared so prepared accordingly and this question will be helpful in preparing for the better interviews for the walmart so now the next section in the video is for the spring boot here also i'll be going through this spring boot questions which you are seeing on the screen these questions will be helping you in order to prepare about spring boot questions Explain how Spring Boot auto configuration internally uses at the rate conditional on class and at the rate conditional on missing bin. The second question is how would you debug circular dependency issues in a large Spring Boot project? Question number third Explain how to secure a Spring Boot app using OAuth2 JWT with key rotation. Question number fourth is how to implement distributed caching with Redis cluster and avoid catch stampede. Question number fifth is what are the spring cloud patterns for service to service authentication. Question number sixth is explain reactive programming in spring web flux versus traditional MVC. So how do you enable back pressure handling in a reactive pipelines. So this, this is the seventh question to question number 8 programmatic versus declarative transaction management when to use which and second last question from the spring boot is how does spring boot manage bean cycle in kubernetes and the last question is how do you handle feature toggles in spring boot at a scale so these are the very important questions from the spring boot and these questions are really good so I hope that uh, these 10 questions will be helping you to prepare better for your interviews. Now let's move to the JPA section. In JPA section these 5 questions were asked and the first question is explain pitfalls of using eager fetching in large domain models and how to redesign them. Question number second is how does hibernate dirty checking impact performance in batch operations. Question number third, how would you tune Hibernate second level catch in a distributed environment? 
explain how to handle schema evolution and migration in microservices and the last question from jpa is how would you implement sharding and partitioning strategy in jpa now let's move to the microservices questions so and this is also going to be the last section for the videos so keep continue watching let's start the first question is how would you implement a global distributed transaction across 10 plus microservices the second question is compare saga cqrs and event sourcing when would you choose each at walmart scale and third question is how do you design multi region microservices for walmart black friday traffic and the second last question is explain api gateway service mesh usage for enterprise grade microservices and the last question is how do you enforce idempo tenancy in financial transaction apis so friends these are the questions which was asked which i have already which i discussed here in this video uh, so the questions from the core java spring boot jpa and microservices if you prepare from these questions i am definitely sure that this question will be helpful and you will get and you will get benefited in the interviews so prepare well and in the last i would like to say that don't depend completely on these questions go and explore other questions also these questions will just give you a idea like what type of questions you should prepare when you are having interview at walmart and if you find this video helpful please like comment and subscribe Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.